Hello and welcome back to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is now your NXT TakeOver review. Yeah, it was, um, before we get into it, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really means a lot and your support is much appreciated. The NXT was okay. It wasn't um, the best TakeOver, but it was okay. Right guys, let's just get into it. First of all, we had the NXT Tag Team Championship number one contender match. That's a tongue twister to say. So we had the uh, Brazango versus Danny Birch and Locum versus Legdo Phantasma. I'm just going to say Phantasma. <laughs> Brazango picked up the win. It's a really fun sprint of a match. It was like six minutes. They packed it with a ton of action and. Uh, there wasn't really any slowdowns. So I gave it 2.5 stars because it was still like a middle of the road match because it was on the kickoff show. But um it was a good it was a good match. Yeah, it was a really good match. It was I go watch the kickoff show. <laughs> then we had Finn Balor versus Timothy Thatcher. I find this one to be good in terms of like a back and forth, but it just felt like it was lacking some. I gave it 2.5 stars because of the back and forth and it was really good, but it really was missing something. So 2.5 stars there. Um, let's hope these guys get a chance to go at it again and maybe put something else into a match. I don't know. Then you get NXT, the North American Championship ladder match. Reed, Grimes, Priest, Johnny Gargano and Velveteen Dream. Priest picked up the win, which I was happy about to see him grab a belt. Um, I gave it three stars because of Priest picking up the win. There was a lot of big spots and like constant movement into a big spot, movement into a spot. But it did just feel like sometimes they were just going through the motions to get to the next spot, which I think ruined the match. Um, like there was a part when. It, do we were getting the ladder kind of set up they kind of hit the ladder in put it up in the ropes they're preparing it they're hitting each other a little bit it just felt like it was just between the next thing that was coming but um, three stars pretty much because Priest picked up the win here and uh, yeah Priest picked up the win and he was definitely deserving then it was Adam Cole versus Pac and Faye Adam Cole was a winner, obviously, but 3.5 stars for this, guys. I expected this to be an okay match, like one of those celebrity okay things, but uh, this was really good, really enjoyable. They put on a great match, and um, yeah, it was. I probably could say this was either match of the night or was close to match of the night. Next, we had NXT Women's Championship, Aoshirai versus Dakota Kai. Um, I should I picked up the win. This was a good 17 minute plus match. I think it was just under 18 or just at 18. It was a very good good match. There was nothing else you can really see. Dakota worked at arm really creatively and interesting. I was comeback was a really good work as well. Overall the whole thing was was great. The match was 3.5 stars, maybe even four stars. I love this match and I would definitely recommend you just go check it out. Post match, Raquel lays out Io and wants to hit her with a power bomb. Rhea Ripley's music hits. Rhea Ripley's music hits to kind of come face to face Raquel and uh, Ripley. Ripley blacks off. The kind of the two of them are um, having like a little face down. Dakota convinces Raquel to leave. Io celebrates. Rhea watches from the stage with her eyes kind of fixed on uh, Raquel. This was a pretty cool s segment for after this match and uh, I think it's going to work into some sort of obviously cool um, feuds happening there. Sorry I keep saying M guys, I'm literally been awake since 4 o'clock, 4 a.m. yesterday morning. Tons of coffee, few beers and uh, <laughs> I stayed up to watch the wrestling last night. So guys, next match, NXT Championship, Keith Lee versus Kenny and Cross. This is fucking shite. Um, th this match was 21, 22 minutes I think it was, 21 minutes. It started pretty cool. 
But see if they kept this at like 10 minutes and just had it like a poor intense brawl, it would have been better than what they'd done. I gave it two stars because Keith Lee's really good. But Karen Cross picked up the win here. I'm not really sure why they've done this unless Keith Lee's going to the main roster. I really think there's better people to pick up the belt than Kerry and Ross at this moment. Like, there's like loads of better people, but um, that was the result. I just didn't really enjoy that one as much. Overall, guys, 2.5 stars. It just wasn't that enjoyable. It, it literally... It was more enjoyable than the AEW, but it really, really wasn't anything special. Um, the women, Ayo Shirai and uh, Dakota Kai, Adam Cole, Pat McFay, the guys picked up match of the night. The, the two ma matches were great. I'd probably say the women were a little bit better than what the Adam Cole and Pat McFay were, of course, but um, yeah, they picked up match of the night and it just the only two things I'd recommend you to go watch from tonight. It was nothing special. Um, I feel that it got done what it had to do. But there could have been a better way of getting it done. If that makes any sense. <laughs> but anyway, Pat McFay should have just gave him the title, in fact. Because he... It was just... They had them cool match with him. They, they made it really simple. They actually... Um, Made it simple, made it effective, and yeah, I, I really don't know what else to say, it was a, a great match. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave you there because I need to go get some sleep to get ready for SummerSlam tonight. As I said in my AEW video, I registered for the Raw, kind of, be in the audience thing, um, so hopefully I'm able to stay up for that. If I am, I'll either try and live stream it, or I'll take a couple of videos when I'm on the when I'm doing the show when we just get me on Instagram and um, Instagram or Twitter and we'll get the kind of stuff sorted there anyway guys I hope you enjoy the rest of your day <laughs> uh, I'll see you here tomorrow for the SummerSlam review let's hope SummerSlam's good because I'm going into this not expecting anything so let's hope it's a good good show enjoy the rest of your day guys <laughs>